Hi friends, today we're doing Unit 5, Lesson 9, What is Sound, Part 2. We're going to start by going over some of the key vocabulary words that you'll be hearing in today's reading. Our first word is vocal cords, muscles that produce sound when air passes over them. Our last word is medium, a substance that light or sound can travel through, like a solid, liquid, or gas. We are now going to move into today's reading, which can be found in your small reader. Chapter 6, What is Sound? An alarm clock rings, a dog barks, a voice calls, time to get up. Every day is full of familiar sounds, but what exactly is sound? Sound is caused by a back and forth movement called vibration. Try this, close your lips and hum. While you are humming, feel your throat under your chin. Do you feel something buzzing or vibrating? What you feel is caused by something moving back and forth very fast. When you hum, the vocal cords in your throat vibrate back and forth. This makes the air around them vibrate, which then creates the sound you hear. Sound, like light, is a form of energy. Also like light, sound moves in waves. Sound waves move out from a vibrating object, making the air move back and forth in a way that we can't see. Two things must happen to create a sound. First, something needs to vibrate and create sound waves. Then, something like air or another medium needs to carry the sound waves. You hear sounds more clearly if you are closer to whatever is vibrating and making the sound waves. The farther away that the sound waves spread out, the weaker they get. That is why you can't hear a friend standing right next to you better than if they are calling to you from across the street. This is what a sound wave might look like if we could see it. Sound travels not only through air, which is a gas, but through other mediums. In fact, sound can travel through solids, liquids, and gases. Think about sound traveling through solids, like a window or even a closed door. If you are close enough, you can still hear sounds on the other side of a window or door. How about liquids? Have you ever been underwater in a swimming pool when you have heard someone's voice or another sound? It probably sounded different than it would if you were not underwater, but you were able to hear it still. This is an example of sound traveling through a liquid, the water in the pool. One place that sound cannot travel is in outer space. Sound cannot travel through the emptiness or vacuum of space. There is no sound in outer space because there is no medium to carry it. You might wonder about the speed at which sound travels. Sound waves travel much slower than light waves. Sound waves travel at about 750 miles per hour. That's fast, but not close to the 186,000 miles per second that light can travel. It would take a sound 33 hours to travel around Earth once. Remember that light, remember that light can go seven times around Earth every second. Here's an example to prove that light travels faster than sound. Think about the last time you were around a storm with thunder and lightning. Did you notice that you saw each flash of lightning before you heard the clap of thunder? That's because light travels faster than sound. During a storm, you will see lightning before you hear thunder. That is because light travels faster than sound. The medium through which sound travels affects its rate of speed. Interestingly, sound waves travel faster through solids. In old western movies, you may have seen a cowboy put his ear down to the steel railroad tracks to hear if a train is coming. That is because the sound travels faster through the steel than through the air. Try this. Listen while you drum your fingers on your desk. Now, rest your ear right on the surface of the desk and drum your fingers again. Which way sounded louder? The sound was louder when you put your head on the desk. This is because the sound traveling through the solid wood of your desk traveled faster than if it had first traveled through the air. Every time sound changes mediums, it loses some of its loudness. Sound travels fastest through solids, such as the wood of your desk or a wall. You may now move on to Unit 5, Lesson 9, Google Form.